Hey Gospel Guitarist here and I found a piece of software for the Behringer FCB 1010 foot controller which I never knew was out there. Apparently this software has been around for quite a while but I've always had such a hard time when I first bought it and I was such an airhead with MIDI and I <laughs> still pretty much am. Um, I'm trying to learn though folks. Um, if not for me, for you. Uh, I came across this editor. It looks pretty slick. It's graphical. It's got a couple different um, things on it. You can activate the buttons by pushing. So it's actually an active screen here. Uh, it also covers the Uno, which is the uh, unofficial upgrade. It's called UNO. And um, you have to excuse the Huey helicopter flying over my apartment building right now. Hear them? Yeah. They're from Fairchild Air Force Base and they do practice runs to the hospital two blocks from my house. So it's hard to coordinate their flyovers with my videos. But to no event there. Anyway. Um, you got your pedals on your screen and all your buttons and it, it's a pretty slick little piece of software just hook up the MIDI cables from your MIDI outputs um, of whatever interface you have for your computer system and run the cables to your MIDI controller and then you can actually control it live right here um, the other tab is a global settings tab so you can set up all your MIDI channels which is kind of cool for me because that's kind of where I'm going. I've got several pieces of gear I can control with MIDI and I could put each piece of gear on one of these channels and assign each piece of gear you know, to, to these. So like my boss could be channel one and my Digitech could be on two and I might have uh, two, you know, effects processors on three and four, etc. Um, so uh, you can assign your controllers, your expression pedals. It's all pretty slick. This area right down here is for your unofficial firmware upgrade, which it does claim it says stomp box mode here. So that might be something to look into. Um, although then when you look up the names, it has five. And so again, still, um, I'm on this kick with the Boss GX700. Um, it has 10, <laughs> so you get five here. And I've already managed to set up five using your the Eureka Prom upgrade. So I don't know if this would benefit me any better. Um, outside of this view, you can still um, you, here you can select your advanced options for your transmit SISEX data. Um, things like that down at the bottom of the screen which seems to be present on most of the screens here you've got all of your send and receive transmit and read and write SISEX buttons um, you can copy banks and presets set up your MIDI control here which as you can see I have the uh, Tascam US 800 controller um, you can go to spreadsheet view which lays out all 10 banks of 10 and it has all of your PC 1 through 5, your two controllers and your two expression pedals. So this is a really nice way to do it quickly if you really know what you're doing. You can just jump in here and just start typing in a bunch of numbers. Your MIDI in and out, um, personally I haven't used this yet so thought I'd just pass it along though. No. Um, this is, here is where your scripts will show up I guess in this window. For what you're sending back and forth. Um, and then it has an about page. Um, I don't see any year on when this came out, but apparently this has been around for a while. There are a few editors out for Windows right now, and there's one Java one that'll run on anything uh, cross platform piece of software. Right off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of it. Um, so anyway, this is just a quick introduction to a piece of software I'm glad I found and maybe you'll be glad I found it and you can go get it and there will be a link posted in the description and have fun playing with your MIDI people. <laughs>